Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Conover and today I'm going to share with you a day in my life as a professional writer. I'm the mother of Scotty Conover in Mr. Hall's class and the mother of Kennedy Conover in Mrs. Cloak's third grade class. And um, in addition to being a mom, I'm also a professional writer and yoga instructor, but I'm not gonna talk about yoga today because this is only a two to five minute video and there's a lot to cram in. So, um, for those of you who are interested in writing, all forms of writing, maybe you like writing stories, or maybe you like um, writing, coming up with your own fairy tales, or maybe you like writing directions on how to do stuff, and maybe you share it or you don't on YouTube. There are so many different avenues that you can choose if you enjoy what I like to call playing with words. That's what I call writers. I think we play with words. That's what we do. I play with words for a living. I put words together and hopefully they bring people either information and or joy and happiness. Um, it'd be great if it's all three. Sometimes it's all three. Um, I'm gonna share with you the kind of writing that I do really quickly. So if you live in Wayne, or perhaps you have family or friends that live in the city of Wayne, perhaps you've seen this newspaper called the Wayne Dispatch. Well, I write the cover story for these newspapers. These newspapers come out once a month. And so I write the cover story um, in these, editions and then I also write a column called the mindful moment column and that's me right there and so the mindful moment column is um, a story that focuses on clean healthy living um, positivity things of that nature lifestyle stuff um, but I also write perhaps you've heard of chicken soup for the soul books so each of these books each edition of chicken soup for the soul has 100 stories by 100 different writers I have uh, stories featured in 16 different books, 16 different Chicken Soup for the Soul books, and I've started writing for them in 2009 before my kids were even born. So I have a story in this one here, Think Positive for Kids. I have a story in this one, uh, the preteens. I have a story in this one, Messages from Heaven and Other Miracles. This is about how I met my husband. Uh, best advice I ever heard. I won in this one. Grandparents, I have won in this one. I'm not going to give you all 16, but this was my very first one. This was about my childhood dog. I had a dog that I, uh, my very first dog that I got when I was in fourth grade, and he lived until I was, ugh, I think my third year in college. Anyway, he um, he, he died um, when my third year in college, um, but this was a story about him, and then I also wrote a story in this special edition, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Tales of Christmas, Tales of Christmas. Um, but I also write um, my own blog, and I don't know if you can see it here, but this is my blog, CourtneyConver.com. So I write for a, a variety of different sources, and some stuff is um, serious, some stuff is funny. Um, again, if you like writing, there is something for you. So you, I personally write nonfiction stuff. So what I write about is stuff that truly happened in real life. But, you know, there's a ton of um, need, a big need, I would say, for um, those who are super creative and can come on up with fantasy and things of that nature. I'm just unfortunately not wired for that. I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, but let me show you what it takes or four things that I absolutely have to have and use um, to get my job done as a writer. So the first thing is this dictating machine. It's a small little machine. And I'm sure they probably have, you know, a lot of cell phones have this capability, but basically all it is, is a voice, it's a voice recorder. And I could use my phone for this. However, I'm going to explain to you why I don't use my phone for this. I've been using these for, oh my God, 15 years or so. They're really antiquated and really old. They're kind of like dinosaur technology. But the thing that I like about this is um, when I interview people, particularly for the Wayne Dispatch, and this is especially during the pandemic when, you know, everything was pretty much virtual, um, I do a lot of phone interviews. So the people that I write about, I have to interview them. And oftentimes um, I don't do it in person. And even before the pandemic, sometimes, you know, I've had to interview people that live in New York or that were overseas or abroad. And I almost didn't, didn't come to pass, but I almost had an opportunity to interview someone during the Tokyo Olympics, and obviously I, there's no way for me to get there. So um, what I use is this. So I would call the person up, put the call on speakerphone, and then I press record here. And this allows me to record our entire conversation. And the reason why is because I'm at my computer while I'm interviewing them, and I'm typing, and you know what? I'm going to miss some things, right? So I'm conversing with them, I'm talking with them, but it's impossible for me to get all the facts down accurately 
during like, you know, a five, um, 50 minute conversation. So I use this. My second thing that I use, of course, is my keyboard. And I have a wireless keyboard, which is awesome. So I can take it places. Um, and even this computer is really big, but it's pretty portable. And um, the third thing I use has nothing to do with writing, but I write my best work when I'm calm. And so I have this singing bowl here. Can I do this to calm me down? So yeah, that's kind of a, to calm and center me. But then the other thing, the fourth and final thing is I always have to have a big thing of water next to me to stay hydrated. I have to run to the bathroom a lot, but whatever. It's healthy. It keeps me, keeps my brain fresh and my water. So yeah, there you have it. I know this video is over five minutes and Miss Valley said only five minutes. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you are even contemplating writing, go for it. The world needs more writers. Thank you for listening. Bye.